Okay, so let's talk about alternating current circuits. So before we go any further to try to explain uh, the concepts and the theories behind alternating current circuits. So first, we'll focus on these two names right, um, written on the uh, screen. So we have Thomas Alva Edison and Nikola Tesla. So there was a certain movie, if you want to see that movie, it's, uh, the title of the movie is The Current Wars. Where in that movie, it, it focuses mainly on the war about uh, direct current and alternating current. Um, Thomas Alva Edison is the proponent or the prime mover of DC, um, DC transmission line, or we're in the we're in the our transmission or our or the the type of electricity that we are that we that he envisioned that we would be using is uh, direct current um, but there is a big advantage of direct current direct current cannot be transmitted into um, long distances so uh, uh, there is a calculation that if you want to use direct current as the current for the transmission line or, or our grid so you will have one substation per mile so that is the one disadvantage or the main disadvantage of having a dc car a, a direct current grid then nikola tesla is the prime mover of the uh, the prime mover the one of uh, the a person who pushes AC or alternating current. So uh, Tesla together with uh, George Westinghouse, the they try to push or the push that AC current must be the uh, must be used because it can uh, you can travel uh, voltages high voltages across um, long long distances. So to make the story short. At the end of the day, so as we can see now, the one uh, circuit or the type of electricity that we are using is alternating current. So the, if you want to see the movie, the movie is entitled The Current Wars. So I, I will leave a description, a description of that movie on the, on the um, video below. So, but that is how we end up using alternating current but the question is what is the difference between the two the direct current and the ac current okay so dc current so it is a type of current that is constant that does not change polarity that has only one uh, direction so that is the common definition of a direct current so if you are going to illustrate that so it's much better to illustrate direct current as a phasor or as a graph for example we have here a graph okay so this will be our vertical axis will be our i so that is our current and our horizontal axis will be the time okay so for example this is uh, 10 amperes okay that is 10 amperes so if this is DC current so from 0 seconds to for example this is 6 seconds so the the current flowing on the circuit is constant so meaning the line of the current with if we are going to plot the the phasor is a straight line a straight horizontal line so this is your dc dc current so the dc current 
uh, with respect to time, the magnitude of your current is the same. Or in Neyman's term, it maintains the same polarity. So if we say positive 10 amperes, that is positive 10 amperes. So the movement of electron is from positive to negative. That is DC current. Now, if we are going to graph the phasor of an AC current, AC, okay, let's have here a straight line. So, this is our time, that is in seconds. This is our current. So, we have here zero. So, for example, we will have here our 10 amperes. Okay, so the graph of the phasor of uh, uh, AC is uh, will look like this. At zero ze uh, seconds, the the value of the current is also zero. Then it will increase with respect to time. Then again, it will decrease. Then again, it will increase on the other side for example this will be negative 10 negative 10 amperes and it will go back to zero so that is now how the phasor of an ac of an alternating current will look like okay so we, uh, we will not focus on the principles of DC current because I have already discussed this on the previous videos. So the, the Ohm's law, the behavior of a resistor, inductor, and a capacitor in a DC current. So I have already discussed that on the previous video. We'll focus mainly on AC, uh, AC current and its... Um, its properties okay so let's just first copy this one okay so let's move the uh, screen okay Okay, so we have here the phasor of an alternating current. Okay, so if you look closely on the uh, phasor, you notice that the magnitude of your current increases with respect to time. And it creates a certain graph. So this graph or um, in if you are... Uh, studying physics it will be called as a wave so this wave is called a sinusoidal wave so this is called a sinusoidal so this wave best describe the phasor of a alternating current so because this is a wave so we will try to uh, to have some definitions of terms related to a wave. So first, we will be um, uh, discussing the number of cycles that is completed per second. For example, we have here one second. It's one second. So how many cycle is completed? So one cycle will consist of your wave going up and your wave going down so in one second we completed one cycle so we could say that the cycle of the number of cycle of our ac wave is one okay and this number of cycle per second so this we call it a cycle per second so that one is known as frequency, okay? So 
So let's dig, let's have the proper definition of frequency. So frequency is the number of cycles produced per second. So in our example, our wave has a frequency of 1 cycles per second. So the unit for frequency is Hertz. So it is named after uh, the German physicist uh, Heinrich Rudolf Hertz. So this is the unit of frequency. Okay, now let's go to the highest value of our wave, the top. So if this is a physics class, so we will call this one as decreased. So that is the highest positive value of the wave. And this will be is called as the throw. Let's, let's write this one uh, much bigger. Okay, so this will be called as the throw. Okay, so we have the crease and the throw. But in our discussion of AC uh, wave, so this two highest point is called as the amplitude. So defined by So the highest point if positive or the lowest point in the wave if negative. So in it is also called as the peak value. So we could call this one as the peak value. So if our graph is all about current, so the highest value of the wave, 10 amperes, is the positive peak value of our AC wave. And negative 10 amperes is the negative peak value of our AC wave. Okay. Then we will be then we will go to wavelength. Okay, what is wavelength? So wavelength. Okay, let's check for some spelling. So wavelength is the length of one complete cycle so that is the length of one complete cycle meaning it is the length of this graph here this one so if we are going to have this curve line um, stretch out straighten up then we will when we will measure its length then that is now called as the wave a wave length so we can also solve for the wave length so using the formula so we have lambda so that is the um, symbol for wavelength is equal to vc over f okay wherein our vc is the uh, speed of the wave or the vel velocity of our wave And our F is the frequency. Okay, so to stay ho homogeneous with our units, so the the unit for velocity must be in meters per second. And the unit for frequency must be in hertz. And the length of the unit for our wavelength is in meters. So that is the formula for wavelength. Then we have also the so-called period. 
Okay, period. So, period is the reciprocal of frequency. So, when you say the reciprocal of frequency, we we'll just reverse the um, the definition of frequency. So, it is the number. It is the number of seconds seconds that a wave needs in order to produce one cycle so that is period so if you will write that one in a mat in a mathematical equation so we could say that period so t is equal to 1 over f so that is the uh, unit or that is the formula for period so the unit for that will be the unit for this one will be um, seconds per cycle okay so we will also have another definitions no? so we have Alter, alter alternation okay so alternation so it is where the word uh, the word alternating comes from so alternation so it is equal to one half of a cycle okay so meaning if we are going back to our uh, to our graph or our phasor so this is one alternation this is another alternation so we could say that this is the this is the positive alternation this is the negative alternation so that is what we called as alternation okay 